The Behavior of Gases The different properties of gases all influence each other. You surely already know the equation PV equals nRT, which is a combination of the laws of Boyle, Charles, Gay-Lussac, and Avogadro. In this formula, P is equal to the pressure, V is the volume in liters, N is the number of moles, R is the ideal gas constant, and T is the temperature in kelvins. When we know the ideal gas equation, it's very easy to predict what will happen to a gas under different conditions. You just need to know how to manipulate the formula. Even without precise data given to us, we can know if the pressure of a gas triples, if the volume is increased or decreased, if the temperature changes, etc. Here, the concept of proportionality is very important. Looking at the equation, we can see that pressure and volume are proportional to the number of moles and to the temperature. If we want to look only at pressure, we can manipulate the formula like this. We can see that pressure is proportional to the number of moles and the temperature, but inversely proportional to the volume. In other words, at a constant number of moles and a constant temperature, if we increase the volume, the pressure will decrease. At constant volume, an increase in temperature will increase the pressure and a decrease in temperature will decrease the pressure. We can isolate any variable we need, depending on what we're looking for. For example, we have 5 liters of gas at a pressure of 6 atmospheres. If we increase the volume to 15 liters, increase the temperature from 300 to 1200 kelvins, and reduce the quantity of gas by half, what will be the final pressure? We solve this problem by analyzing one change at a time. Looking first at volume, we see that passing from 5 liters to 15 liters triples the volume. Since volume and pressure are inversely proportional, we must divide the pressure by 3. Then we multiply the temperature by 4. Since temperature and pressure are directly proportional, we do the same to the pressure. The quantity of gas, N, is also directly proportional to the pressure, so we divide the pressure in half to give us a final pressure of 4 atmospheres. Note that since we are working with multiplications and divisions, the order of operations is not important. We start with 2 liters of gas. Since the temperature is proportional to the volume, we must quadruple the 2 liters of gas. The number of moles is also proportional to the volume, so we multiply it by 3. The pressure is inversely proportional to the volume, so we have to divide it by 2, and we get a final answer of 12 liters.